Hey, it looks like we have to log in. Oh. Oh, this is new. Uh, hey, wait a minute, what, what the heck is this? What I, happened? I don't know, <laughs> this is new to me. Hey, 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 uh, what happened? Hey, watch out, watch out. Settings, you know what, let's make the, I was gonna say, let's make the, bu, 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 the words a little bit bigger, but no. Doki Doki Literature Club. Ooh. Loading, there you go. Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Let's play. Oh, I think the settings will be in here. Let's do it! Uh, I always no. like the, the music for the screen. Yeah. It's so fun. Okay, let's select. Alright, let's make that bigger. And the way that starts. <clears throat> doki doki! Uh, load game. I wonder if that's all of them saying it together. Wonder. This I'm kind of curious to know, like, what their actual voices are. Oh, they don't have wolves. Oh, I have to correct Matt. The last time he said this was serialized in America, but this was actually made in America. Yeah. Yeah. Did I say serialized? Yes. Oh. Ah, well. So, because you were trying to say the whole Monica thing, but it's actually made in America, so it can. It could be, but it's but in, it's in Japan, Japan. In Japan, they just say it differently. No, this is a, this is America. They're going to America school and learning America uh, Katakana. <laughs> yeah. Here, American Hiragana. Hiragana, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, hands, you could skip, press the skip button to fast forward stuff that we already read. Okay. Wait, okay. is this the beginning now? It's the beginning of the, where we left off. Okay. How we didn't introduce ourselves? Oh, average man? And Valen? Mysteri and Arsma. Here we go. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not leaving. We're playing Valid. Get your head in the game. Hmm? It's already here. No, it's not. It's in a phone. Hmm? Okay, so phone. as a recap, <laughs> uh, this is a new recording session. We just found out we're going to do poetry reading at a festival. We're going to gain Correct. that confidence. Oh, uh, yeah. So let's continue on, continuing on. <clears throat> Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. No, I just... don't worry. I just walked in, too. <laughs> Good glory. This happens. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Uh, you weren't complaining about it just yesterday, Mitsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a, a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? What do you mean you people? <laughs> because it's right in your name. Monique. joke means no sense in translation. Uh, ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. 
your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayuri's, anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori, anyway? Oh, there you are! Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk, I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori! I wave my hand in front of her face. You can't see me! Eh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine. See? So Yori so shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Average, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori like recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into a little too much, but she seems a, a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Average. You certainly know a lot more than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And also, I care, I care about her well-being of, of all my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she was just... Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Average. Me? How on earth would you come to that con- uh, How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? Yeah. She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light has turned on inside of her. What? No way! Or should I say like an anime protagonist? No way! <laughs> so Yori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Average. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh... <laughs> I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? <laughs> I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. 
Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. <sighs> I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering from me at me from her over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flushed look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So, I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. Mm, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But, I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to, to spot based on your posture and expression. And not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. I guess it wasn't that big of a deal. Sayori? <laughs> yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's... Quite romantic. Eh? Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to, to misunderstand. So Yuri and I have been just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Average. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm, I think that Sayori is a very com complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I... I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Mm. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Oh, so cute. The perfect waifu. Embarrassed, I invert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. I know. Uh, <laughs> that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, 
As long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Yes. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll get to go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Ooh. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Can you keep up with her stride? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm? Where are you two off to? Eh? We're just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your business for once. <laughs> That's ass. That's or do you want me to tell... You want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involving average in club activities? Eh? Hmm? My mouth gapes. I... Uh, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Now go back to your place where you belong. Then let's go, Average. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. <laughs> Why, <Absolutely. laughs> <laughs> boom, material! Yeah. Oh. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Average. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because. Nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't always hide them. We can't hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah. No. Wouldn't you hate for me? Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Ah, um... Yuri lifts her head. Average. I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to keep, help Yuri feel better. Anyway... Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Average, do you like oolong tea? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. That's adorable. You ah. must be in a good mood now. You must be in a good mood too, oh. Yuri. Oh, good. <laughs> Is that so? I was letting it show. And you notice, I was doing a bit of thinking, and decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. 
It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Average. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Average is over his head! <laughs> Average, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Now that's romantic. Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry. I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? <laughs> Always hunch over like that while reading? It's from carrying the club, but yes. <laughs> I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. When you get in the background, it's because of your bones, Dad! <laughs> Fair enough. You think Natsuki would be the one to say that? <laughs> I'll go ahead and get the boobs. Uh, book. <laughs> I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Soyuri's candy radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Ooh. I can't see too well. Hmm? Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. <gasps> They're that much closer to her boob! Am I supposed to focus? How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? <laughs> Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with a chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Huh? You sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it she holds it so that I don't have any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth as thus. And just like that, Yuri cl closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she's, she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um. And she just slurped it up. Slurp, slurp. Average. S sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah! That's all it was. Yeah. Then... You don't need to stop or anything. I, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. 
I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. <sighs> but this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Hmm? How did he even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. Those big old boobs. I raise the my mountain. arm. Uh. Like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone. Oh, oh what? Ah. Yuri jokes back. It's time to share poems. No. <laughs> but we'll share poems next time. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, see ya. Adios. Bye-bye. Good night.